This is not a podcast. Because I am sick. Uh, and because we have special guests. But Huck is here because this was almost a podcast. Hello. And our special guest, <laughs> all the way from the Shire. Oh, for. F- <laughs> from Scotland, son. From Scotland. Same difference. Uh, yes, this is Lore. Hello. Lore's from the internet. I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm from internet. So, Laura, how long have you been in Canada? Um, I have been here 10 days now. Cool. Ryan, how long have you been in Canada? With the exception of a two-year stint. How old am I now? So, 26 years. Cool. Ryan, what's your favorite thing about Canada? Uh, guess that my family's here. Probably. Mm. That's not really unique to Canada, but it's an accidental <laughs> property of Canada that most of my family's here, and some of them are in the States, which is close enough by that it's... Fair know. enough, fair enough. Uh, Laura, yeah. what is your favorite thing about Canada? Uh, everyone's been super nice, actually, when I've been here. It's been really nice, like, being able to walk around and not like, get asked. Let me be clear, everyone except me. Yeah, except you, except you. No, it's been really nice. I, I haven't had the, sort of, the the thing when you go to the States of, oh, you're from Scotland, do you know such and such? Because you guys kind of have a bit of perspective and realise we're not all related in Scotland. We get that in Canada a lot too. Yeah. No, but it is. It's been fast. And poutine. Poutine is good. Actually, we had a commercial. The I Am Canadian commercial. They they riffed on that where it's like, do you know Bob from Canada? <laughs> do you remember that commercial? I do. Yeah, I don't know if you if it was ever no. imported over there, but the Molson Canadian Beer Company had a really successful campaign, the I Am Canadian one. Oh my god. Where a guy gets up on stage and goes on and on and on about various things. It spawns so many parodies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess he got in trouble at some point for something or other. But that seems likely. Yeah, but <laughs> it was one of those like really good camp yeah, I wonder exactly. if he knows this friend of mine who went to jail. Yeah. Uh. No, we have the we have the Iron Brew campaigns. Iron Brew is like the national soda, isn't it? And um no the Iron Brew adverts are incredible. Like the I don't know who runs the creative team at Bar, but like they have like the big the billboard ads which are always hilarious and then like the actual commercials on T V. And they always riff on being really Scottish. I was like, um you guys know the musical of the snowman? No. It's like Christmas, no. It's like We don't have musicals here. Okay, it's just <laughs> This kid builds a snowman, it comes to life at night, and it takes him to visit Santa in the North Pole. Right. And it's got this song in it called Walking in the Air. It's a really famous song for him. Mm-hmm. And the Simon Brew advert is like a, a, a piss take of it. And it's the kid flying with the snowman all over Scotland. And he's got this kind of iron brew, and he's like having a drink of it. And he's, the snowman's trying to get it, and he's like, no, you don't get it. So the snowman drops him in the snow and then steals it. So good. Every, we know it's, like, it's, it's Christmas in Scotland when that advert comes on now. Oh my. It's amazing. Yeah, what is your what is your most memorable Canadian experience so far? Mmm, different, harder question. Mm-hmm. Um, things I've done in Canada or an actual Canadian thing? I don't know. I don't make the rules. I do actually apparently make the rules. No, I'm asking, do you mean like something I've done when I'm here It's not particularly Canadian or something that's actually Canadian? Something that happened during your trip. We'll come back to it. Huck, what's your favorite Canadian experience? Your most memorable Canadian experience? There's a dog outside. That's There's exciting. Like several dogs outside. It's, but it's giving me a chance to pause and ah. think about my most, my favorite Canadian Shut experience. Shut up, dogs. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, it's not necessarily uniquely Canadian. But I love the fact that when I broke my ankle, I didn't have to pay <laughs> for the surgery. I paid for the incidentals like the boot yeah. and the crutches. Yeah. But I love the fact that I was able, and that was the question I asked the doctor. He's like, yeah. I recommend surgery. I said, How much? do I have to pay yeah. for this? He goes, no, it's covered by OHIP. I'm like, all right, cut me up. That's fine. <laughs> so not exactly 100% uniquely Canadian, yeah. but definitely something that's great for us. So that's my... If you'd had that on the NHS, you wouldn't have paid for the boot or the crutches either. Because my friend Phil broke his leg in December before he went to Berlin. He didn't pay for any of it. The only thing he paid for was his wheelchair in Berlin because we had to hire one in Berlin. But other than that, yeah, our NHS is pretty good too. So yeah, favorite uh, favorite experience in Canada. Actually, you know what? The D&D mashup game at the weekend because everyone was 
like so inclusive and lovely and just like I can't quite you guys be lovely. You guys are lovely. You have a reputation for it. It's just in Canadians are nice. Yeah, but except it me. was like <laughs> But it was the fact that like it was this group of people in a space they're all kinda of comfortable in and I just kind of wandered in with people. I'm like, Hi, I'm kind of here. Everyone's like, Cool, let's do it. It was it was nice. Now how much gym do you think that's selection bias because you really only know awesome people? Yeah, see, this is what I'm discovering, is Jim knows an awful lot of really awesome yeah. people. And it's, it's, yeah. Because I work at a bar. <laughs> Not every Canadian's awesome. <laughs> oh, no, the guy in the coffee shop yesterday giving his girlfriend shit over the phone, that wasn't so awesome. Oh, okay. This just in, next time, Canada asshole tour. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's get, like, some, some wicked graphics. Asshole tour. Did it. See what I can do it with it. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. I mean, Faye, that's your favorite. What's your most disappointing Canadian experience? <laughs> Ryan. Don't say university. It'll really... Yeah, no. They did pay for our microphone. Yeah, no, sort of. I'm not... <laughs> it's like $70,000 in debt to get a $50 mi- or $100 microphone. $100 microphone. Yeah. Uh, most disappointing <clears throat> Canadian thing. I don't know, come back to me. Let me think. All right. Uh, Lore. <laughs> Most disappointing experience while in Canada. Not what I did to myself. It doesn't count. Yeah, not the time you accidentally gave yourself a concussion. No. <laughs> um, that bubble gum at breakfast the other morning. <laughs> Did you go to Mel's? Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the meal with the, the bill, it was two bits of double bubble. Yeah. And Jim goes, whatever you do, don't put that in your mouth. It's good for about five minutes. Yeah. Not you- even five minutes. <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, there's this diner in our town. There are two of them now. Yep. And, uh, and they are a 1950s style diner and they give you, they give you bubble gum at the end of your meal instead of a mint because reasons. And you I did. I said, I said, don't put that in your mouth. And I was like, why is it? It's like, what's wrong with is it? it? Why is, is it, it bad? I'm like, no, it's not bad. It's just don't put it in your mouth. Like, don't do not do that thing where you just, like, grab the candy or the mint or whatever they give you and just, like, don't do that. And then I realized, Lord never had that, like, Canadian kid experience where you have $2 and go to the store and the hubba bubba, the real bubble gum, is like a dollar fifty for eight pieces yeah and you're like wait a minute i can get ten double bubbles for a dollar and i get more gum for less money value (laughs) at which point i was like okay if you're you're determined i'm going to try this you have to eat it too and of course and jim being jim was like yeah sure whatever i was like oh crap what we doing what we doing so, yeah, it was, what did you describe it as? It tasted like the stuff I used to wash my rubby mouth guard out with. Mm-hmm. It's like... And it felt like the putty they get when you get impressions at the dentist. It's like if you dipped silly putty in mouthwash. It's, yeah, it was... Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I got you back, though. I gave you tablet. I did. I did get to try tablet. Tablet is. Uh, I have some left. Here's some. Yeah, we have, we'll, oh, we'll get some. We'll get some video of Hawk trying tablet. First, first impressions. So, so tablet, tablet tastes like <laughs> chalk semen. <laughs> Wait, you were supposed to bring me those caramels or something like I that. I know. I couldn't get them. No. I was um, devastated. My shop I normally go to has them. Has got rid of the sweetie counter. Oh, I forgot about. Okay. Like, was, you'll just have to mail me some. Yeah, tablet devil. tastes like sugar and the bones of rodents. Okay. It's condensed milk and sugar. What are you expect? It tastes like a nightmare that coral would have. <laughs> what did you say on Skype to my dad? It tasted like a mixture of dried milk and pixie sticks. Yeah, yeah, basically. All right. We'll get we'll get some we'll get some footage of well, of, of Ryan. This trying. sounds similar to Ranger cookies, which is what we call these things in cadets, where you get the the ready made meal things like yeah. the, the oh fast yeah milk they have those things. in in uh, in Scotland too. They call them lemma spread. Yeah, no, 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 no. but. With the, the hell up. with the MREs, you, you you always got coffee with it. That's the yeah. standard in everything, right? 
And so you get a packet or a couple packets of sugar and a couple packets of uh, coffee whitener. Yes. And so to get our kicks off at camp, when we didn't put the coffee whitener in the fire because it burns really nice, yes. we would open up a pack of creamer, put the creamer in the mouth, open a pack of sugar, oh, go, no. and then you just chomp on it because yes. as the creamer gets wet, it starts to like congeal. Oh. And we, th those were ranger cookies for in, for us and army cadets. That is... So I am. I, I might be. With I, ranger might, cookies. I might be prepared. Well, I know ranger point. ranger coffee, which is where you take that instant coffee and dump it in a coke. Oh, I don't know about that. I thought That's it was just gross. In, instant it coffee gross. that you anything eat. with the word ranger <laughs> in it is probably gross. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Army rangers will eat some crazy shit. Yeah. yeah. No, we have weird stuff in Scotland. Not quite. Yeah, we don't like ourselves. The British have a reputation for bad teeth, probably because of the amount of fucking sugar we eat and everything. Um. Yeah, they, they stopped selling a lot of stuff I used to get as a kid, though, because, like, iron brew bars and wham bars and things like that, because there was just too much sugar that it was killing us off. Mm, fair enough. But, uh, no, we still have, like, a pizza crunchy. We still get pizza crunchy. I haven't, uh, Which is I haven't collected pizza. Ryan's most disappointing Canadian experience yet. I'm having a hard time coming up with a decent one. The only one that came to mind where I was actually disappointed about something Canadian... Yeah was probably reading Robert Sawyer's books. Dude, <laughs> ouch, ouch. I just, they, I, I've only read a couple of them, but I just found myself, like, on both the books that I read for class, it was, I just found the ending so disappointing. It was good lead up up until the end. I will point out, Robert Sawyer, if you were watching this, this is not impossible, Robert Sawyer doesn't actually live that far from here. No, he doesn't. Um, Robert Sawyer, if you are watching this, it's an election year. This is 2015, this is August, that means that your book's, Huck finds your books more disappointing than all four political parties. <laughs> yup. Oh dear. That's some harsh man. And Should quit be. being so hard on Star Wars. Fucking fascist. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't get the whole made stuff because my sister wasn't home, so. Huck yeah. tries tablet for the first time. It's upside down. It's upside down. <laughs> Damn it! It was right side up on my side. So, I'm gonna give this a try. This is my, uh,. My cultural, well, actually, this side's already got some broken up pieces, so it'll be easier to fit in my mouth and be less embarrassing. <laughs> you didn't see the face I made when oh, I ate okay. it, man. The face is incredible. All right. So I'm hoping that in continuing on with our tradition of you and I being very opposite of each other, yet complimentary, hopefully I actually enjoy this. So we'll see. I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hold my breath. Yeah, no. I wouldn't. All right. Here we go. Also, because if you get it in your lungs, it'll kill you. All right. Here we go. <laughs> That's a lot more than I ate. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, I like it. Yes! <laughs> it tastes like if you took those caramel squares uh, that we get at Halloween. Well, you can get them anytime, yeah. but those caramel squares. And then just dry them out with some like sawdust. <laughs> Jim said it was maple candy without the maple. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I compared it to like when I, when I wasn't being sarcastic. <laughs> no, I mean like... Obviously, it would be really dangerous for me to eat a lot of this. Yeah. I could see myself eating a lot of this, but I actually really like it. So sorry, Jim. Hold it yeah, up. I can't eat a whole packet at a time without dying. Oh, I don't want to get any of the pieces on me. So there we go. Oh. 